This video will show you how to use SPSS to conduct plant comparisons. My name is Brandi Weiss. So finally, if I want to run plant comparisons and look at those, I will go to Analyze, choose Compare Means, and again select this one-way ANOVA box. When I select this, uh, I'm actually going to go back and um, click on the contrast box. When I click on the contrast box, we get options of putting in contrast coefficients. So it's important to know which contrast coefficients you're going to be comparing in this particular analysis. Um, the order that you enter these is very important. So let me actually look back at my data file. When I look at this data file and I click on variable view in my bottom left hand corner, I'm going to find this by form 2. This is my independent variable that I'm using. And under values, if I look, anything coded 0 represents auction, buy it now is coded as 1, and best offer is coded as 2. And so the order that I enter my contrast coefficients for any planned comparison is very important and needs to follow and be in the same order of auction, then buy it now should be entered second, and then best offer should be entered third. So let's say that I want to conduct a planned comparison that compares auction with best offer. They need to, the contrast coefficients need to be entered in the auction first, buy it now second, and best offer third. So now I'll go back and I'm going to rerun this analysis, analyze, compare means, and one-way ANOVA. I'll click on the contrast box. And this is my pop-up screen. So again, I want to compare auction with best offer. So I need to enter my contrast coefficient for auction, enter that value and click add. I need to also enter buy it now because that's a value that's used in my analysis. And since I don't want that used in the comparison, I'm going to give it a contrast coefficient of zero and click add. And then finally, I want to compare best offer with auction. So I'm going to give that a negative one contrast coefficient value and click add. So the way these contrast coefficients are entered are in the order of one, zero, and negative one. And this says I want to compare auction with best offer. After that, I will click on continue and then I will click OK. Now notice again, I get the same output that I had asked for before, descriptive statistics, Levine's test, my overall ANOVA, my um, Brown Foresight and Welch test, and then I get new additional information. First I have my contrast coefficients. So you want to check this box to make sure that you entered those contrast coefficients correctly. So auction is being compared with best offer. Buy it now will not be used in this particular comparison, and that makes sense. When I look in the contrast test box, this contains my results for my planned comparisons. Just like an independent t-test, it's important to know which row of output you're going to interpret. And so in this case, just reflecting back on Levine's test, when I look, remember that Levine's test is not statistically significant. That means that the variances are not statistically significantly different from one another, they're approximately equal. So this particular assumption has been met. And that means when I interpret this contest test box, I need to look at the row that says assume equal variances. When I look across at this row, notice the value of the contrast is negative 92. Since I used values of 1 and negative 1, this actually compares the mean value, so that negative 92 represents the mean difference between these two groups. The t-test associated with this, my t-value is negative 2.846. I have 53 degrees of freedom, and notice that my p-value is equal to 0 0.006. So this means that this planned comparison is statistically significant. So the means between auction and best offer are statistically significantly different from one another. Again, if I want to figure out which group is larger, I should look back 
at the mean values, my auction is $550, my best offer is $642, the difference between them is $92, and best offer is larger. So I want to report that best offer is statistically significantly has a larger mean total selling price in iPhone sales than auction had.